Welcome back. Seth Green here with the fascinating Ted Thomas, America's Tax Lien Certificate and Tax Deed Authority. So just as a quick short recap before we dive in, can you review for our folks what a tax lien certificate is? With a tax certificate, the owner does not leave the property. You have no rights to the property. All you have rights is that certificate, nothing else. Just the so rights if I, So if I buy the tax certificate, that 6, 8, 10, 18, 24%, who's paying me that rate of return? You don't get any money until the people come in and pay the tax. And when they come in and pay, the county will either call you or they'll text you, or now the easy way they do it, they'll get your bank account and you'll pick up your phone and you'll say, oh, I just got a check from the county. The county just sends it to tell you that the county sent it. So it's all done electronically. You can buy the certificates electronically. And let me show you a list of tax. Later, later in one of our other videos, I'll show you a list of tax certificates. You'd be astonished. Can you imagine 1 million certificates in Florida? It's, it's unbelievable. That's not, that sounds like a million people didn't pay their property tax, which is yep. mind boggling. So exactly. what when you mentioned when the people come and pay it off, I get my money as a certificate holder, but the people haven't paid it to this point, which is why there's a tax lien certificate on that property now. So after I buy it from the county, what, let's say Ted was the defaulted borrow, the defaulted homeowner, you didn't pay your property taxes. They notified you 17 different times. You still didn't pay. They did their thing. I, they sold the tax certificate. I paid your taxes for you. You now legally owe me, you know, how, how are, since you ignored the county for six months, a year, however long it takes, why are you suddenly now going to pay now that Seth's involved? If you don't get, if you don't, if, if the payment doesn't come in, you take the property. You get okay. the property. You either get paid or you get the property. It's one or the other. So the county, to get to the point where it's a tax lien certificate, hasn't said we're going to take your property away. They just want their tax dollars. But the next level up is when someone else buys the tax certificate and pays their taxes. Now, if they refuse to pay me, I take their property. The county doesn't do that because the county doesn't want to be in the real estate business. Is that an accurate guess? Right, right. And then the counties, uh, when uh, if, if, if the county didn't sell the tax certificate, if they didn't sell it, then they would take the property. But they couldn't I sell the tax certificate, they'd let it go. And I'll show you an example of that in uh, just a moment. Okay, so you talked about some substantial profit margins in a couple of your examples. So could our folks watching this realistically make $25,000, $30,000, even more on like one deal? Oh, I have people that make uh, $25,000, $50,000. That's what we teach. We don't teach people to make small profit. Try and make $25,000, $50,000. I'll give you an example of one in that uh, took place just recently here in Arizona, okay? It's a young couple. So they start out, they bought a tax lien certificate. So try to remember these numbers as they go along. They invested $11,000 total, total money invested. Now, we always teach people, don't buy anything unless you look at it. So they went and looked at it. Turned out it was a condominium area where, where it was right on a lake. All right, so here's this beautiful condominium. It's worth about $180,000, $200,000. All right, so they paid $11,000, and the people did not come in and pay the tax certificate. So they went to the judge and said, look, we didn't get paid. So the judge put the gavel down and said, you own the property. Just like that. The, so they just sold it. They had Zillow sell the property and they ended up with $169,000. And don't go away because I'm going to show you a video because I know you wouldn't believe me. This is life changing. This is something that really is something you can do 10 to 12 hours a week. You can do maybe even less than that, depending on your knowledge of that particular market or that system. This is an opportunity where you can earn more than you would at a job in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks. There's not that demand for you to fit societal um, pressures of getting dressed in the morning and, and making yourself up. I mean, it's it sounds silly, but it's a lot of work for women to have to also put on makeup and have to wear a certain outfit. You know, this is stuff you can do from your pajamas if you want. It's a lot easier than you think. It's not, it's not so scary once you know, okay, you can just ask these questions. And yeah. we turned to Ted, we turned to um, all his education, we turned to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts. This particular property was a very nice property, and in our opinion, nice enough to actually live in. We for were in 11. it total for 11000 Both of those. 
And we rented Some that magic. at twelve twenty five for fifteen months. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. That Phoenix was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property and the sales price was? Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account. Okay, so they went from, they put in 11000 and generated about 160 something $169,000 is what they did. That, so that's they, greater they, they, than a 10x ROI. That's absolutely 17, oh. 17 ROI. 17. 17x ROI. How long was the entire process from the day they bought the tax deed, tax lien, until the day they got the money? Two years. I would take a 17x ROI in 24 months. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Now you talked yeah. about people making that much money per deal. What's this? I mean, you also mentioned a hundred dollars. I mean, can you get started with like 500 or a thousand dollars or do you have to get the, the challenge always is. So everybody wants to know they can get started for pennies. Um, you really don't want to get started for pennies, but, but yes, you can, but th visualize this. If you're going to, if the tax is only $500, what was the property worth? It wasn't worth very much, but like a hundred thousand dollar property, the tax is going to be about. In Florida, it's going to be about $1,000. In New York, it's going to be about $2,500. All right, but you're getting the idea. So uh, property tax is about 1% of value, with the exception of New York, New Jersey, California. About 1% of value uh, in other states. But those states are a little higher than that. So if you buy something for $500 and you got paid off 18%, you know, you didn't make enough money. So this is really for investors. This isn't for, you know, if you're a... You're someone broke, you're not get, gonna get rich overnight doing this. Now this couple, they were married, they were just having their, growing their family and so on. They had $11,000 in Arizona, tax certificates pay 16%. So they thought they were gonna get a nice solid 16% for three years. Well, they didn't get the solid 16%. They ended up with the property and the property was worth almost $200,000. And as the video showed, they sold it and made themselves $169,000 after they paid a 6% Zillow commission. Now, if I end up with the, if I do this and I end up with a property, you had talked about getting your hands dirty. Do I have to want to be a fixer upper or a fix and flipper to make this work? If I get, get with, get a property as opposed to them paying off the taxes. All right. Here's the key. If you want to buy these kind of properties, there's going to be nationwide. There's going to be between two and 3 million tax defaulted property. Now, if people haven't watched this video, don't tell them about it because they won't believe you. They're going to think you've gone cuckoo. They're going to think you're crazy because people don't know and understand this. So to see 400 people in an auction would be a big deal. And even if you did see 400, only 20% of them would even dare bid. They're afraid. People don't know this. So here's the key. These are used and abused properties. Some of them are junk. Now, you know, don't buy junk unless you've got a bulldozer. If you've got a bulldozer, and I sometimes will buy junk that, and I bulldoze it, but the lot has value. So if you're looking at, it's the same old, same thing that you learned about real estate day one, location, location. So buy a decent property. If it has to have some work, well, think about that when you start. Don't go in there with your last dime, say, all right, well, look, it's a use and abuse. I might have to put a kitchen in, fix some bathrooms, paint it, put some roof on. You're gonna have to do some of that work, but we don't do that work. I can tell you right now, 64% of my clients are women. Why are they women? Because I teach people not to fix up property. Do not fix up property. Hire other people to do it. Use your brain to buy at the auction and then resell. The people that learn the marketing that we teach, and I'll teach that in another video, not this one. The people that learn how to do marketing with this, this is a marketing business and it's a piece of cake if you learn how to do marketing. And I'll show you how to do that. And you are, and you've proven this over, God, I think you've been doing this like 40 plus years. Well, not that bad. I'm old. I'm really old, but I've been doing it about 30, almost 35 years. You're right. Sorry, I gave you a few 40, extra oh, years. 40. Oh, I'm offended. You cut 40 years old. Oh my God. I apologize. Are you, so you have proven this for decades that That's the property, right. if the property does not owner does not pay the yeah. tax lien certificate, the holder of that certificate ends up with a property at even cheaper pennies on the dollar than if they had bought the tax defaulted property. Here's why this works. By law, let me say that again, by law, 
every legislation, every legislature of every state has said they will pay tax. If they don't pay tax, the legislature says, we're taking the property. When they take the property, in half the states, they issue a tax lien certificate. The other half of the states, they're going to take the property. When they take the property, what are they going to do? The, the county already owns all the parks, they own all the roads, they own all the schools, and they own a whole bunch of employees to pay. So what the county wants to do is they want the tax money. So there are states that will start the auctions at $100 just to make sure people will show up. And even though the homeowner didn't pay their original property taxes, sometimes for years, because they didn't care what the, about the certified letters or the registered notes or whatever they got, they have to pay when it gets to the point where their property tax debt gets sold. Otherwise, they lose their property. They lose the property. You either pay your taxes or you lose the property. No matter what happens, you ultimately will lose the property. Doesn't matter whether it's a tax lien or a tax deed, you're going to lose the property if you don't pay the tax. It's the law in every single county. And we could talk about every state in the United States. It's not just, I mean, if you happen to live in, live in New York, you'd say, wow, this is going to be exciting for me. We have sent group after group after group to different states. I have people buying in Los Angeles. You will not believe this, but I'll demonstrate it later on in one of our other videos. Okay. I have people buying in Los Angeles for less than 10 cents on the dollar with no mortgage. Except there, they call it a deed of trust. No deed of trust on the right. Can you imagine buying a property in Los Angeles County for under 10 cents on the dollar with no mortgage or deed of trust loan? It's amazing. It's happening everywhere in the United States. This business will never go away. It's been around for 200 years. Never will go away. That is absolutely incredible, folks. We don't have, we are just scratching the surface here. We're going to be back with Ted Thomas. Make sure that you watch for the next email with the next video in it. And make sure you check out the link we're going to put in here to a very special training that Ted is holding for our audience. We will see you in the next video.